How's it going, guys? Um, this is my tribute speech, and it's going to be about my father. My dad's name is Scott. Um, he was originally born in a Air Force base in Bitburg, Germany. So technically, he's American, but he was born on German soil. Um, he grew up playing soccer, baseball, and uh, a little bit of football. He was he moved to Las Vegas pretty early. He was about four years old or so. Um, my, he was he was my soccer coach all the way from three years old to eighteen years old. So he's literally been my coach since since the time I could start walking. Like I started soccer at under threes when I was three years old, and usually you're not supposed to start till you're about five years old. So it was literally the smallest one out there, the slowest one, and it was kind of it was kind of weird. But he was always pushing me to be like the best soccer player that I could that I could be. And I remember one particular instance where I was probably like three years old, right when I was starting to play soccer. He would throw soccer balls to me like up at the top of the stairs, and then I would kick them back to him, like from the top of the stairs back down to the bottom of the stairs. Just, it was just a cool little memory that I have of him. I also remember having a big, he bought me a big soccer goal for one of my birthdays. And it literally would sit in the living room and we would just, me and my little brother would go at it. Like, and we would smash the ball and we would break plates, we would break, break glasses. We would we would get into so much trouble, but in the, in the end, I guess it kind of paid off because... I became, in what I think, a pretty good soccer player. We also played soccer in his his room where there was one wall as one goal and then another goal was his bed, and we'd always play against each other. So it was pretty it was pretty cool. One of the like the hardships that we had was that since he was my coach, there would be times where he would be my coach more than he was my father because you can't favor. You can't favor your son in soccer. Like, if you're the coach of the team, you can't favor your son just because he's your son. So, like, what my dad told me once was, when I'm on the field, I'm your coach, and I'm only your coach. But when we get back in the car and we go home from the game, then that's when I become your dad. So I needed to treat him a little bit differently in both instances, which was kind of hard because that started, like, when, I, when he told me that, I was probably about, like, 10 years old, and I was like, well, what do you mean? Like, how can I... Like, how would you expect me to do that? But we we got pretty good at it. Like, it was a it was a good understanding. Like, I knew what I needed to do, and he knew what he needed to, like, how to coach me. So once once I did that and we got that under control, it became a lot easier, like, especially when I started growing up and it was just better. But, like, the times where, like, I would do something bad in the game and then, he would yell at me and I would yell back and it's like you can't do that to the coach but like and then you can't talk about certain things but it's kind of yeah it's a little bit weird but it worked out in the end but he's always a guy that you can always rely on he <laughs> like things that he's done for me and like big time times like when I had flat tires I had no money and like he helped me get new tires and then I could pay him back slowly he, when I was growing up, he would always give me any kind of cleats that I needed or, like, any kind of jerseys or anything that I, literally anything that I needed growing up, usually in soccer. He was most involved in my life for sure.